first off, welcome, and uh, uh, it is finally here. Uh, it's, it, it feels good to be in Greenville, and it feels good to be getting ready to go actually um, get out on the field and, and see all the product of our hard work here in a few weeks. I want to start by saying special thanks to our training room. Um, you know, what you have to go through in the all season to keep guys healthy and keep going, I can't say enough about what Jake was able to do. And uh, our strength staff, Coach C, did a fantastic job of getting us to the point of where we are now. We had a very productive off uh, season. Uh, well, it moved from when we first got here and the strength and conditioning and, and, and the discipline and conditioning part of our strength and conditioning program. Right in the spring ball, our kids were able to hold, hold on to the rope and then moving into our summer plan and now uh, fall camp and uh, summer camp is right here on us and they've done a, a wonderful job. It's very productive. Our staff made sure they did a good job uh, in the off season of continuing spring. And when I say continuing spring, I mean making sure that uh, the development of our team mentally will continue to grow from January, February, all the way throughout uh, July, and now we're in August. And I can see uh, what kind of off season we had by just the first couple of days in practice. Speaking of practice, in the first couple of days of practice, uh, it's been interesting to see. Uh, very uh, impressed with uh, Philip Nelson and where he is in his development. He's done a good job of leading these guys as well throughout the summer. Uh, he has a great grasp of what Coach Peterson and the offense are trying to get done. Uh, the boost that our offense has received has definitely came from uh, Isaiah Jones. Having Zay on the field has been, you know, a, a huge, huge, huge boost for our team. Uh, morale, whether that be offense uh, and defense. Uh, on the other side, of course, Trayvon uh, is, is coming along and our receivers are doing well. Our backfield um, is, is something that, you know, we, we all thought that we have a chance to be good at that position. Anthony Scott has been great. Uh, we announced earlier in the week that uh, Devin Scott will no longer be a non-scholarship athlete. Uh, excuse me, Devin Anderson will no longer be a non-scholarship athlete. He will now be uh, a scholarship athlete. He earned it. Uh, we're very, very proud of where he is in his development. Darrell Scott has had a, a great start uh, to our camp, a great start. He has made tremendous strides, not only in offense, but from a physical standpoint, Coach C and Coach C's program, uh, he, he looks like he is primed and ready to go. The other positions, uh, I got to show some love to, to Baggett, uh, who's came in and is, is taking this thing serious about being a leader at that position and guys that he has to teach and get better. Our offensive line has made a huge, huge transition under Coach Wade. Uh, very proud of their development, proud of the leadership that we've been able to get from JT Boyd and Christian Mattel. Um, would love to see us continue to grow at that position. Uh, depth may be an issue for us as we continue to go, but we got guys in now that just have to learn the playbook and mentally where we expect them to be. Moving right over to defense and not trying to spend too much time. Um, but our defense is together. That's the one word that I will have to say about our defense right now. Uh, Coach Thompson and his staff, and they, they have done a tremendous job this offseason of making sure that our guys are playing for one another. I'll say that about them. Uh, I, I can tell uh, by the development of not only our secondary, but our linebackers, our outside backers, and our defensive front that they have had a very, very productive, uh, productive uh, offseason. Uh, in, in our front, I think it's going to be anchored right now by Demetrius McGill. Uh, and Darius Commission, I think they've done a good job this offseason getting themselves to a point of where they can help us. They've uh, graded well in the first couple of days and graded well for the most part when they were out there uh, in the spring. Uh, like where they are, like where they're moving from. Our outside backers have grown a lot. Uh, it's Coach Thompson's position that he coaches, so it's probably the most ridiculed position that we have on our defense, which is the way that it should be if he is coaching that position. Um, Giannis Bowden. Uh, and, and Pratt are doing well. Uh, they're, they're developing in our scheme very well. In our linebacker position, we have a great competition going on. Um, uh, Jordan Williams, I would say that his offseason was probably one of the more productive that we've seen. Uh, you know, if, if some of you guys pay attention to, to some of the things that came out, he was ranked the number 17 freak um, this, this offseason, and that's not by happen uh, chance. He is uh, a competitor. Look forward to seeing his development. In our secondary right now, uh, after two days of ball, extremely strong. Uh, Bobby Falk um, and Simmons have added a dimension to our uh, defense. We're, we're longer, we're faster, we're at the football, we're chasing. 
uh, a great amount of leadership coming from that position. They hold other people accountable, and it makes us feel really good when we got guys on the edges uh, at the corner position that have played uh, a lot of football. And that's what it's all about. We have to continue to develop this team moving forward. Uh, that's what training camp is about. Uh, that is uh, how you know we grow closer as a team. And one of the things we're going to do to grow closer as a team, I think one of the key components of training camp is to develop team unity uh, and, and an identity for the upco um, upcoming season. Um, we're going to take a trip, and I'm announcing it now, uh, on August 20th. We're going to go down to Charlotte, and uh, we're going to practice at Rocky River High School. I think we're going to start around 2.30, 2.45. And we're going to go and get a chance to see uh, and show the Queen City exactly what Pirate Nation is about and also go show a great portion of Pirate Nation in Charlotte what we're about. We plan on having an open practice there to be set up in a scrimmage kind of a scrimmage format. Uh, and we look forward to going down there and seeing our guys compete. Not only are we bringing up, taking them on the road uh, so that we can build our team unity, but it's also uh, you know, an audition, uh, if you will, for some guys to be in a, in a foreign situation, in an away situation, and get a chance to play. And uh, we're going to get the coaches off the field and let them go play a little football that day. So we look forward to it. Uh, all in all, uh, we've been pretty fortunate, knock on wood, uh, from an injury standpoint. I'll answer those questions if they come up. Uh, but I'll try to keep everything as close to the cuff as I possibly can because uh, some of the stuff I will be guessing and speculating on and uh, some of the uh, soft tissue stuff I might be guessing and speculating on. So I would rather not do those things. Uh, at this point, if you have any, any time, you have any questions, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can answer some of them. Got it. You mentioned Philip Nelson. Uh, how has he changed? How different is he now that the competition is over, he's got his job, and, and, and you can see this is his offense? You know, his work, his, his work ethic has not changed at all. Uh, he's still competing like there's somebody trying to take his job because guess what? There is someone trying to take his job. There's someone trying to take everyone's job. So he's competing at the same level that he's always competed at. However, now it's very clear of who the leader of this team is and the leader of this offense is. He is the type of person I said before, now when you walk into the locker room, if he's sitting in this locker, there may be 10 to 15 people standing around him. When he speaks, they move, they listen, they understand, but they also know that if they ever need him for anything, they can call him and they'll be able to get it from him. So that's kind of where he's changed. Um, he, he knows that this is his team moving forward. He knows that he has the support uh, of, of not only the coaching staff, but also the team, whether it be offense, defense, our special teams unit, they're all looking for him to, to be a good player for us and do things the right way. And uh, he's embracing that. You lost three vocal leaders on the side of the ball last year, Zee Baker, John Falk, and Thomas Jones, and those guys. <clears throat> on that side of the ball, how much of this camp is about trying to find out who you know, no question, a good portion of it. There's no way, let me say this, those are three great players. Um, those, are, those are pirates, right? And those are guys that have helped us get to where we are right now. We're not going to replace them uh, at that position. There's no way. And we're going to have to replace them by committee. Uh, we understand that. But the unit, uh, I would say, that, that Coach Thompson is putting together, they're all pulling together so hard that we think our leadership is going to pull us even tighter together. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know if we can replace them in a time of a camp, but what I do know is that the things that we teach our guys on the field will make us uh, a better football club uh, now than we were earlier in the spring. So we're going to continue to push that forward. Uh, those are you know, great, great players and, and good people to have on the field for you, but we really feel like we got some of our own good people and good players. Coach, uh, when you drive down from the Valley Durham area where the Loyal is a divide between three schools, you're really struck by it, how everything's well, you know, in, 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 in that area, uh, and I, I'm, I'm not going to recruit for, for any of them. They're, they're fighting against each other. That's their area. When you come down here, you know, let's, let's talk about, you know, purple, uh, and I'll talk about that. I can wake up a little bit easier down here and go to work because it's support. I mean, this is Pirate Nation. This is Greenville. We know how important it is. And our job is every day, our, our coaches feel it, our players feel it. But we also know that it's going to be, you know, really hard for people to come out here and play in Dowdy Fickman. So when we cross over 95, you know, we know that it's all purple. And we plan on continuing that all the way through Charlotte. You hear some of the things that we've done. We want to continue to grow our fan base. But it feels really good to have a home. We feel like this is home. You know, we, we go to the grocery store, we're at home. We're not going to worry about 
you know, this person or that person or this team or that team, this is home. And our kids embrace that, and they know exactly what that means. So it's really, really good to be down here. It feels good to wake up every morning knowing that you're at home. Scotty, I know that uh, preseason predictions and projections mean absolutely nothing once the games start. But the fact that you guys were picked fifth in the East, does that, is that motivation? Is that an opportunity to overachieve? I mean, how do you look at that? I mean, I'm human, just like the rest of our football team. Just, to, just like the rest of our coaches, is it motivation? You know, it can be – people can say it's motivation or not. It just emotionally it hurts your feelings a little bit. But this is, this is a big boy sport. And I respect the right that people have to pick us wherever they want to pick us. But those same people probably haven't been with us every single day of this journey. And that's what our kids understand. This is a journey that we're focusing on. We're not necessarily focusing on the destination. That pick is a destination, right? And we have to focus and be in the journey – and it is a motivating factor probably for some. I know our coaches are going to work the way they came in because they are directly connected to making sure our kids have the best chance to go out and win football games. Uh, does it, yeah, does it, people, yeah, of course it does. You know, it pisses us off to read some of that stuff because we know how hard our kids work. And no one wants to be picked down there. But, hey, it's, it's, it's up to us to, to change that. And the only way that we can change it, it won't, be, it won't have anything to do with us writing anything because, you know, whatever we, we think we are, we're not what we say we are. We are what we put on tape. So what people are saying about us now really doesn't matter that much. When we put it on tape and they say it about us, that's, what, that's when it really comes down to.